Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the Bloomsbury Group. The Bloomsbury Group is a group of writers, critic, philosopher and artistic. Artist. Here you will see different kind of uh, uh, writers and critics and philosophers in the, and artists in this group. Even there were some painters in this group, we will talk about later. They were predominantly active in the early 20th century. So if we talk about time period uh, when they were active or uh, they wrote or they created uh, uh, aesthetic uh, uh, piece of writings or uh, paintings. So this was the time period, early 20th century, 1906-1930. And the group lived and worked in London district of Bloomsbury. So this was the name of the place. That's why they got this name. So you can see here which is where they got their name so it was a place it was a place and because of that place bloomsbury they got the name bloomsbury group if you are uh, visiting this channel first time let me tell you at 7 30 uh, pm daily you can visit our channel for english literature topics daily i discuss a topic for you for your exams different kinds of exams you can if you are sitting in uh, these topics will help you now let's come to the topic. All the group's male members were educated at King's College, uh, Cambridge. So that can be a question. Where uh, did they get uh, uh, educated? So they were educated at King's College, Cambridge. The group members would meet each other's houses and discuss art, philosophy, and aesthetics. As I told you that they uh, discussed different things in this group at different uh, uh, kind of uh, piece of writings they were writing and they were talking about art, philosophy and aesthetics. Toby Stephens, this name is very important because uh, this was the person who started this group or uh, we can say he united the male members of Cambridge with the groups of women, uh, primarily his uh, sister Vanessa and Virginia and he was very important uh, person in this group. When he after his uh, death, the group became more active and they came closer. His sister's name were uh, Vanessa and Virginia. Now let's come to the group's, uh, uh, group's members section. So who were the group members? First was Virginia Woolf and she is known for a stream of consciousness in English literature, you should know. Vanessa Bell, uh, we just uh, saw this name and Duncan Grant next is Clive Bell and John Mayard Keynes he was an economist we will talk about them later the remaining four members were so there were uh, remaining four members in this group were Roger Fry, Lytton Stretchy, Leonard Wolf and Desmond McCarthy uh, Ro Roger Friend was an art critic and painter Lytton Stretchy famous uh, biographer you should know this and Leonard Wolf non-fiction writer and essayist Desmond McCarthy literary journalist he was a journalist the group uh, had 10 core members first was and uh, some questions are asked like uh, uh, who was the economist in Bloomsbury group and uh, such questions can be asked so you should go through all the members and their uh, uh, professions as well so first one is Clive Bell, he was an art critic, Vanessa Bell, post-impressionist painter, E.M. Foster, he was a fiction writer, and Roger Fry, art critic and post-impressionist painter. Duncan Grant, post-impressionist painter who later became a member of Camden Town Group. J John Maynard Keynes, he was an economist. Desmond McCarthy, literary journalist, and Lytton Stretch, biography. As I just told you, he was very famous biographer. Leonard Wolf, uh, essayist and non-fiction writer, and Virginia Wolf, she was famous fiction writer and essayist. There was an old Bloomsbury group as well. You should know all these names: Adrian Stephen, Karen Stephen, uh, Section Sydney Turner, and Mary Molly McCarthy. Here are some famous works by Virginia Woolf, Mrs. Dollaby, 1925 and Orlando, 1928. Woolf was known for using the stream of 
consciousness technique virginia wolf struggle the mental health difficulties for most of her life and drawn herself so here some questions can be asked like how she died how she died so she committed suicide by drawing herself and when she died when she committed suicide 19 uh, so question can be when and uh, she she suffered with mental health uh, difficulties mental issues she had and the question can be like what was her problem or uh, what kind of health difficulties uh, she faced and very important question stream of consciousness technique she is known for am foster howard howard's end 1910 fiction writer a passage to india 19 uh, 1914 and a room with a view in 1908 his novels often looked closely at class distinction in english society and colonialism so class distinction was the special theme uh, of the works by em foster here were some uh, here are some painters first is venisa bell bell was english post impressionist painter born on 30 may 1879 and duncan grant he was a painter who also worked in other mediums such as textiles and pottery a question was asked in pgt exam the uh, question was uh, there were uh, you know group of painters were given and uh, who was not painter it was asked there so such questions can be formed from uh, such text so you should go through and you should know other members in this group were uh, first was clive bell first was clive bell clive bell was an art critic associated with formalism and he published a collection of his criticism since cezanne 1922 now let me ask you a question in 1922 a famous work is published of english, uh, english literature modern english literature if you know write down in comment box john mayer menard kenis he has an economic theory named after his ideas known as keynesian economics so this term was coined because of his name the last name you can see here keynes keynes most famous work was the general theory of employment interest and money and it got published in 1935 so with this we end this session if you wish to join our courses or pdf uh, uh, pdf notes you can whatsapp on 7409287156 so this is my whatsapp number you can join my pdf course or video course uh, see you tomorrow at 7:30 pm sharp with a new topic you can share your views about this video and topic and you can uh, write down in comment box if you want to study any topic and i will create a video for you see you soon bye bye take care